Hello everyone and now welcome to game 2 on Secret Valley between Happy and Check. This is game 2 in a best of 3 series as we see Happy spawning as the blue undead on the bottom left hand side of the map with a 1-0 lead. Check on the top left hand or top right hand side of the map, excuse me, as the teal night elf and the previous game was pretty much your textbook game except for the the middle four minutes or the almost the final six minutes where both sides pretty much decided to say you know what i'm not going to do very much i'm just going to be making sure i am not losing gold to upkeep and then have enough units in that absolute final fight it turned out that Turn out that um, Happy was able to easily, easily win that final fight with the combination of heroes, positioning, and the multiple scrolls of healing um, available to him. As Check now going to go ahead and clear out this 5-3-3 creep camp, almost getting to level 2. Meanwhile, Death Knight going to pick up a Tome of Intelligence. And you can see that this Wisp is just very scared um, of this Death Knight. Death Knight has no easy way of finishing it off without a Death Coil, but he does know that um, all of these ghouls will be able to get the final kill off over here now the death knight does want to pick up the item here i'm not quite sure why he is actually waiting this long where's that tome there's the tome no overseer about to fall there it goes claws of attack plus six a very very useful item as the wisp is looking for a detonation and it doesn't seem to be able to get it the skeletal minions are in the back here the death knight now chasing after that wisp that wisp may be forced to detonate only to remove 50 mana all right, Wisp, there's the detonation. Death Knight now turning back around. Mana burn right there once more. Check, making sure that Happy is not going to have the mana available to him when he does, in fact, get to level 2. Archer, very, very low on hit points. Dust of Appearance, not available yet. Even if it is available, I do not believe it will be in time. Back down across over here, it looks as though the ghouls were able to head back to his base as the Death Knight gets the final killing blow on that archer happy now trying to run away across over here are we going to get a surround and wow unable to surround with that many units but then again without unholy aura um, it is very very difficult to try and surround a demon hunter demon hunter once again breaks through and able to slip away as the death knight trying to lead his army fast enough to get in front of that demon hunter Demon Hunter, however, very, very slippery hero and going to be more slippery once he puts on a Boots of Speed. All right. Tome of Intelligence, plus one, quickly picked up. It looks as though the Demon Hunter... Oh, wow, beautiful denial by those ghouls. Demon Hunter unable to get within melee range, and the Demon Hunter would have added a lot of extra... Well, extra durability with that evasion. Evasion at... Evasion at, I believe, what, Talisman Evasion, 15% is effectively, um, I believe, a ring of, ring of Protection plus 3 uh, overall. Demon Hunter, however, is now surrounded. Skeletal or Ghoul, is it going to be able to escape? Yes, it will be able to. Death Knight does not have enough for a Death Coil. Skeletal Minion does get taken down, but a 350 um, gold Scroll of Town Portal was lost. Demon Hunter forced to teleport all the way back home. Death Knight now hoping to perhaps clear out a creep cam. Going to finish off the Forest Troll Berserker first and then use that Skeletal Minion. That is a very, very high damage hero as there is also a Forest Troll Trapper there. All right, picking up the item, Mantle of Intelligence. Going after those um, units once again. There is the Skeletal Minions popping them up right behind as the Death Knight doing a good job clearing out this Ogre Magi creep cam. Down across over here. Demon Hunter going to go ahead and finish off the Null Wardens. Warden will end up falling as the Null Brutes are pretty much all that are left. Archer taking a lot of piercing damage right there, slowly losing hit points over time. But and with the Fountain of Health, not really all that concern. Naga Sea Witch does show up and you can see that the Red Drake is now far enough away from that Fountain of Health that the Red Drake does not benefit from the healing. All right, let's take a look at this. Naga Sea Witch going to go ahead and finish off this Red Drake off over here. Death Knight now wandering off as well. He is sitting at level 3. Skeletal Minion Detonation. Where is the rest of the undead army? It doesn't look like Happy knows where exactly his opponent is as the Naga Sea Witch does have a Robe of Magi. That Robe of Magi will act as a Claws of Attack plus 6 in addition to giving an additional 90 points of mana and faster man mana regeneration. 
Naga Sea Witch with mana is extremely, extremely scary. Um, I've never actually seen a Naga Sea Witch use mana shield in a professional game before, though, as we're now looking at the Ogre Magi looking to get taken out here. Ogre Warriors are going to fall. Demon Hunter picks up a potion of greater mana. Archer, however, gets ensnared and may get taken down. Death Knight of Happy is not using this time wisely at all. Not clearing out creep camps. He has plenty of lumber. He doesn't need any of that. So it looks like he is not going to have the overall benefit that he is really, really looking for. Death Knight about to head over there to the bottom left. Demon Hunter finishing off this Ogre Magi down across over here. Check going to go ahead and finish that off. As you can see, Demon Hunter looking to finish off the Forest Troll Trappers there. Archers now um, chasing back off to the north there as the Archer is now slipping away once again. Death Knight still sitting at three. Still not doing very much of anything. Ghouls, Crypt Fiends. Shade, Lich, now making their way out of the base as well. Is that Potion of Invisibility? Yes, it is. So the Death Knight, now with a Potion of Invisibility. Not quite sure what to make of this. As the Lich looking to clear out this 3-3-3 creep camp, what's left of it since the Ogre Magi was already taken out. Death Knight, still a very, very much close by. Could easily Death Coil to try and steal a bit of experience. Let's take a look at what's going down over here. Uh, Mantle of Intelligence, was it picked up by the Naga Sea Witch, who now has plus 18 attack. That is a tremendous amount of damage um, on the, off of that Naga Sea Witch, already going up to 45 base damage, and that's without any sort of roar or any sort of aura. All right, there you go. Another quick kill right there. Tome of Agility picked up by the Naga Sea Witch once more. The Death Knight is right there. Shade. Oh, the Shade... Can the shade have backpack upgrade? That actually be that actually be pretty interesting. If the shade has the backpack upgrade, you can actually pick it up and try and run with it. Meanwhile, back down across over here, Naga Sea Witch still pretty much getting some free experience all across the board. Tome of Intelligence, pick it up. Oh, how come you? I guess the Death Knight did not want to pick it up either to reveal himself, but he is still causing um, problems all over the place. All right, Naga or Lich still sitting at level two. And it, this does not seem like the same happy that we saw in the previous game. He doesn't seem as confident. He is not he is not really venturing forth and doing a great job here. The Death Knight is in position to steal this item. And he must know. Death Knight p picks up the Belt of Giant Strength and is now running away. Potion of Invulnerability might need to be used. Scroll of Town Portal. Why even bother? Oh, go after a couple of units there. Death Knight now trying to run away. Is he going to be able to get away? That is the big question. Death Knight, cold poison. And yeah, he should have just used the scroll of town portal in order to get away. As the Death Knight does pick up Belt of Giant Strength, picking and choosing his fight, getting a little bit of experience, denying um, experience to the Naga Sea Witch and the Demon Hunter, who are now just sitting at level 3. Lich also sitting at level 3 as well. Happy choosing when to really, really pick up that fight there. Lich getting the Hood of Cunning in addition to a Claws of Attack plus 6. Death Knight, Belt of Giant Strength, up to 950 hit points only at level 3. But I believe Czech is just in a much better position so far. He has better items. You can see Orba Venom, Roba Magi, the plus 29 attack now on that Naga Sea Witch. Base damage of 50 on a Naga Sea Witch's range attack. Very, very effective as we're now looking at the Tree of Life about to get taken out. All right, Tree of Life. Uh, gonna get canceled here in just a moment. Ancient of War gonna be giving a little bit of experience as well. No negative armor on that Ancient of War as the... What? Come on. Oh, why don't you finish this off? There you go. Finishing things off as the Naga Sea Witch and Dryads do show up to the party. Druid of the Claw. Rejuvenation onto the Demon Hunter. And now in bear form, Scroll of Town Portal finally being used in order to get away. Naga... Uh, well, oh, wow. Beautifully finished off Crypt Fiend right there. So a little bit of spells able to finish off that unit as we now are looking at uh, more Obsidian statues being trained up. Nothing really coming in from that sacrificial pit. Check is in a good spot. Dust of Appearance. Why would you even need a Dust of Appearance? Um, no Shadow Meld. Sentry Ward possibly. Oh no, that was a reveal. All right, Crystal Ball reveal coming in from Check. 
as check now makes its way back over here to the top right there is still a little bit left at this creep camp only a forest troll high priest and a little bit left at the center shop here and also that fountain of health will it give another level to the naga sea witch or demon hunter i do not believe so but both of them are already extremely extremely strong and ready to go demon hunter sitting at plus 11 attack has claws of attack plus six of his own gloves of haste could be given to the naga sea witch as the naga sea witch would benefit from attacking slightly faster as well staff of preservation teleporting a unit back home naga sea witch gonna perhaps pick up a staff of preservation for herself and now with two staff of preservation cooldowns if you're able to deny experience to your opponent by constantly constantly and um, removing low hit point units then um, you end up coming out ahead all right unsummoning a sacrificial pit right there it looks as though yes the boneyard was already added into into play allowing the training of frost worms as we're looking at happy now sitting on over 900 gold and counting meanwhile check is looking to establish an expansion and he is at 56 over 60 so check feels confident that he's gonna have the larger army in the upcoming fight Let's take a look back across over here. Archers now making sure that there is nothing keeping or nothing mining at either of these additional gold mines. And if that is the case, he knows that he is in a good position here. All right, Tree of Life going to start entangling this gold mine down here at the three o'clock position. And now both sides, well, sitting around, perhaps waiting for that economic advantage. I am going to be speeding things up right now just because um, we know from the previous game we could be having no action for about another four minutes all right it looks like check is gonna go ahead and entangle that gold mine here meanwhile this gold mine here still mining unsummoning a boneyard seeing that 67 over 7 or 65 over 70 supply now oh wait whoa I'm missing a major fight. All right, big fight that back across over here. My apologies. Boneyard now coming across. Demon Hunter now backing off. And this looks like Happy is actually winning this battle here as the destroyers are going to town here. Dryads trying to focus down some units. Potion of Lesser Invulnerability. Naga Sea Witch coming back across over here as the Mana Burn is coming in. All right, no more. I really keep track of the minimap. As the, de as the destroyers are now going after the Naga Sea Witch, no rewind feature, unfortunately, as the Frostworm looks like it could get taken down. There goes the Frostworm. Now, are we going to be finishing off the remaining units dryad's now trying to head back over here happy is not in a or happy is just happy after unsummoning so many buildings he is in a really good position staff of preservation saves a unit there but check is in serious trouble 44 over 80 supply demon hunter now is going to be in trouble as he's starting to back off here all right naga sea witch could easily staff of preservation that back you see one bear or two bears back at home supply count 47 over 80 compared to 52 over 70 and that is going to be a very big deal since there is five additional wisp inside this um, entangled gold mine that is really not providing anything except for a little bit of gold right now 51 over 70 now you see the demon hunter is in a little bit of a sticky situation again rejuvenation once more now back down and the longer this tree of life can entangle this gold mine and get at least a little bit of gold the better it will be for check check now continuing the fight as they are now engaging here mana burn ghouls trying to move forward very very heavily demon hunter or well they're completely ignoring the ghoul staff of preservation not coming in as a bear does get taken down fork lightning going across multiple units there is a lot of low hit point units no staff of preservation there and this is probably a fight where only 200 hit points would make a very big difference in terms of overall supply there goes a crypt fiend there goes a dryad more dryads were suddenly added off across over here naga sea which continuing the fight there goes a destroyer once more dryads now looking to back off lich continuing here as you remember Ch does have this gold mine entangled so he is able to train up consistently more units than his opponent the gold mines are about to mine out bears and bears gonna be coming out here in just a moment are we gonna perhaps see some training or some healing here in just a moment you got to remember hero damage is not very effective against these buildings here and there is no they do not have the additional armor upgrades so no additional armor as the wisp are now making their way out there's a quick detonation onto some of these um well nope not even a quick detonation there they're just looking to back off here as the dryads may get some slow poison across onto some of these units all right dryads now looking to engage demon hunter is in position he's actually in a bad spot quickly uses a potion of healing dryads need to back off here as they do not want to engage all right there is a rejuvenation there's a bear now in bear form as the bears 
or uh, as two bears are coming across, Dryad's going to get focused down by the Crypt Fiend. Oh, meanwhile, uh, Destroyer has to be extremely careful. A Crypt Fiend does get taken down here, and Happy is now somehow losing all of this just because of that additional expansion economy. All right, Lich now down to 85 hit points. One more mana burn will finish it off, and there it goes. Lich does fall, and Happy says GG. Check able to get enough reinforcements just in time to win game number two, forcing a game three. My apologies for not noticing that fight across over there. I was looking to, well, I was looking in the wrong place at the wrong time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.